Parents, if you are sharing your children online, you need to watch this clip. You've heard the warning before. Be careful what you post on social media. However, one mother is sharing her experience that changed what she shares about her children online. As Tintv's Lindsay Mills reports, it started with a terrifying phone call. Anybody who follows me knows I'm like an open book. I share, you know, all the fun milestones that we meet and all of the things that they do in all the places we go. However, from now on, Megan Huffman says she won't be posting pictures of her children on social media. Um, it was a normal evening and my phone rang. In December, she answered a call from an unknown number, thinking it was an Instacart shopper for the groceries she ordered. And it was this man, this man who had been following my family for, it seems like, quite a long time. Um, and it wasn't completely random. I, um, met him when I was eight years old. He was an old neighbor neighbor of mine. Um, and I hadn't had contact with him since then. So, you know, I, I met a kid when I was eight. Um, seen him across the street a couple times, and then that was it. He described in detail photos of her two young children. She searched his name online and discovered he is a registered sex offender. Never do you think, like, just posting a simple picture can be dangerous and it can be harmful to your family. Huffman has asked us not to share his name or photo for her family's safety if he were to be released from jail again. Huffman recently moved with her family from Pickerington back to her childhood town in Kentucky. According to the Kentucky State Police Sex Offender Registry, the man who called Huffman was convicted on charges of sodomy and sex abuse. The victim, three years old. The case was from 2011, according to the Fayette County Circuit Court. According to the Kentucky Department of Corrections, in January, he was on sex offender conditional discharge, but committed a technical violation of failing to abide by the rules of the halfway house where he was residing. He returned to jail January 13th. It was right before that violation in late December when Huffman answered a call from a person claiming to be him. He had said um, that he had seen that we were doing well and that he knew I had kids and that he had, you know, my pictures in his prison cell and he's tried to contact me for the past couple of years. And now that he's out, he was able to call. The phone calls kept coming. They kept coming and coming and they didn't stop until we got the police involved. Hoffman is sharing her story to warn other parents. You don't know who's lurking in the shadows. You don't know who's looking at your stuff, even if they're completely random and or not.